popular rifles ever made, uh, most recognizable rifles, and the one that wears the title of the gun that won the West is the Winchester 1873. Uh, Winchester produced those rifles from 73 till I think they officially dropped it in 1924. Had a good long run. It had some very good improvements over the uh, previous, uh, the Henry and the 1866, in that it had an iron receiver on it, but the major improvement it had on it was it fired center fire cartridges. Winchester came out with the 44 WCF uh, Winchester center fire. At that time, later introduced other cartridges into it, 32 WCF, 38 WCF, and 22 long rifle was also made in the Winchester 1873. Uh, there have been some good replicas on the market uh, for a few years now, but now uh, this 1873 bears the Winchester name. This is made by Morocco and Japan for Winchester, uh, and it's a really high quality made nice rifle. It's got some straight grain walnut on it with a good satin finish, not real shiny. I like that. It's set up in the short rifle configuration, which means it has a rifle style crescent butt plate and a uh, forearm cap on it instead of the barrel band like the uh, saddle ring carbines had. It has a, this one has a round barrel, a full length magazine. It holds them. Holds, this was chambered with 357 Magnum cartridge, which is really popular with uh, the cowboy action shooting crowd because it's also we shoot 38 special, which uh, in that sport of cowboy action shooting, uh, uh, the speed uh, really makes a difference on your score. So low recoil from the uh, 38 special uh, works really well and, and it's really popular in their revolvers and their rifles. 73 is a real popular rifle. Uh, we'll show you some features. This one it does have the lever latch on it like the original did. It also has the uh, safety here for the sear that they started a few years later. That wasn't available in 1873, but I think by around 1878, 1880, that was added to the design of the rifle. It's got the uh, dust cover on top, which keeps dust, dirt, snow, whatever, out of the rifle. If uh, a man out on the frontier, his rifle had to be dependable, and that was a good feature of this rifle. When you work the lever, it opens automatically. Uh, the action on these things is some of the slickest in the world on the 1873. It's just a beautiful design. It carried the same pretty much action design as the Henry and the 66 before. But like I said, it uh, fired the popular uh, 44 WCF cartridge at that time. And one thing that also made that more popular, I think, helped it, is Winchester sold a reloading set at the same time. It was a handy little tool. You could reload your uh, reload your cartridges out on the prairie out in the mountains, wherever you was, you didn't have to have a steady supply of ammo. As most people know today, sometimes you can't depend on ammo being available when you need it. It's good to be able to load your own ammo. Anyway, this is a beautifully finished rifle. It's got a steel receiver, steel side plates. It does have the brass cartridge lifter in there. Uh, you have a steel bolt, blue steel barrel, polished uh, round magazine tube. It's really well fitted. The, the wood fits it nicely. There's no gaps or... or uh, really proud wood uh, it was just slightly higher right here on the tang it's also drilled and tapped for a tang site if you want it uh, want something to shoot out a little further than is available uh, to you with this uh, semi buckhorn rear sight and marbles bead front sight it's put together really well it does bear the winchester name it is imported but uh you know no more winchesters from new haven that's the way it is now and it's a really nice quality rifle i think msrp on this at the day of this review is a uh, uh, $1,299 US. It's available in 45 Colt, 357 Magnum 38, and 44 WCF. Run a few 38 specials through here, show you how light the recoil is, which even with 357 recoil is not bad in this gun. It weighs a little over seven and a quarter pounds, this particular sample of it does. And uh, but the, the action works really smoothly, it feeds and fires great. We're just gonna run the ammo through it. I got loaded with some 125 grain uh, three, 
57 Magnum hollow points in here. They're coming out of here at about 2,200 feet per second. So that puts you up in the range of a, you know, close to 30-30 Winchester power out of this little carbine. So it's got a lot of power, but recoil is still really light. <laughs> 